ho, 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 ho. It's that time of year again, boils and ghouls. It's Halloween, or Halloween, actually, since it's not Halloween yet, but it's getting there. Uh, well, ooh, ah, got my pumpkin ready, as you can tell. I'm gonna get my candy on, even though I don't really like candy. It's also that time of year when, you know, we get to dress up and uh, either look like sluts, which I'm not going to do, or you just kind of get to act a little bit goofy. One of the things I gotta say that I love most is not the candy, not the dressing up, but the Halloween movies. Horror movies are one of my favorite things in the world. I love it. I watch it like pretty much on a regular basis. But, yeah, you know, you kind of get that a little bit of feel to want to watch it like Freddy and Jason and fuck it, even Chucky for Christ's sakes. You know, the classics and stuff like that. But the thing that I gotta say is a close second in the movies is horror games. I still remember my first time playing Resident Evil 1 on the GameCube, the remake version. It was actually my first horror game that I ever played. Oh boy, did it ever scare the crap out of me. Those graphics were top-notch and scary back in the day. Just, uh, I love the camera angles and the atmosphere that it built. And you know, they really kind of changed that in horror games these days. And well, it's more action than horror. But, you know, that's where Silent Hill always kind of came back to me. I love Silent Hill. The atmosphere is perfect. It's had some flaws in the last couple of years. Uh, you know, Silent Hill Downpour was not critically received well, but uh, to be honest, it's actually one of my favorite Silent Hills. If you, if you give it a little bit of a chance and you're, you know, open-minded to the series being a little bit different, then that's where today's game comes into play. We are going to do a speed run of P.T. Now, if you're unfamiliar with P.T., it was actually announced during GamersCon. Pretty much, it was just like a little bit of a teaser trailer. But in any case, they said it will scare the crap out of you, and it was available on the PlayStation Store instantly for everyone to enjoy and download. So, of course, I read this pretty much at the end of my shift at work, and I jumped right onto my PlayStation and downloaded it instantly. And, uh, well, I gotta be honest, it was one of the scariest fucking games I've ever played. It scared the crap out of me! PT actually stands for playable teaser. It was actually for the brand new Silent Hill being made uh, for next generation consoles. Uh, my very first experience playing PT is actually uh, in the description below. We played it with my buddy Matt Frazier. Um, it was terrifying. And the reason why it was so terrifying is because it was so unknown. You know, it, it, it struck me like uh, no other horror game has in years. I mean, look at Resident Evil 6. <laughs> Daylight was a pretty big disappointment. I mean, maybe if it were like three, five bucks, but not fifteen. <laughs> Outlast was good, one of the better horror games I played recently. But you know, I was able to play through it. To be honest, when it came to Silent Hills, I didn't even want to look at the screen most of the time. The problem with Silent Hills for a lot of people was that it became so difficult because it became to a point where you actually had to do something, but the game doesn't tell you that whatsoever. So. During the first day of release in 24 hours, we were checking a lot of forums uh, to try to figure out how to solve the mystery of PT. Now, you may not know the best way to do it, so I'm here to show you how to do that right now. This is a speed run of PT, aka Silent Hills. Let's give it a go. I played it quite a few times. Oh, my pumpkin's pretty spooky, eh? Let's turn down the spooky level. Uh. All right. All right, here we go again. Watch out, the gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? Huh? Huh? Try to do this as quickly as freaking possible. Ow. Opening the door now. 
I'm just gonna try seeing if it works instantly. The whole point of the game is to zoom in on certain things. I guess I gotta go through some stuff first. If not, I should find one here. The day of the crime, the father went to the trunk of his car, retrieved the rifle, and shot his wife. Basically, from what I understand now, because I didn't remember, I said you gotta do a certain amount of things before <coughs> you're allowed to do this. Before you can get your items. Again, the game doesn't even tell you that you gotta get items. So the door is closed here. You literally gotta touch it. Turn around. There's no run button. stuff pounding on that door. I find walking all the way back to this door. Touch it. And we go back. And the door should be open. Whoopee! A spooky! I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's the same hallway. How strange. So you hear the door banging again, you're like, oh, what's that? And it's gonna bang like, bah, 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 bah. Da, 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 da. And you start hearing Lisa cry. Don't know who Lisa is? You're probably not gonna see her in the speedrun. But if you play, you probably have met her. Or will meet her, I should say. Alright. Closed, no, we, I think I still got to touch it though. Yeah, I'm gonna get close to it. So this door opens a little bit. Bugs start coming out. The trick is to actually zoom in and look at the door. And there's Lisa. Shut the door in my face. Why? What did I do? I'm sorry, Lisa. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, she's crying. She's like, you know, I was taking a shit. You made me shit. Trust me, I was very terrified the first time I did this. I don't think I even watched. She's gone now. This is the point where I can get the flashlight, I think. And now I should be able to grab stuff. So there's something over here, right? Oh, you know what? I probably need the flashlight. So I'm just not going to I'll try it once more. This teddy bear should have one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so teddy bear's got one. This shit got one. This shit got one. That's three. Um... Oops, four is right here. Four. And then I go, oh, not yet. Ah, oh, that door won't open either. So I gotta do the flashlight now. So I got four there, there's six, I think. It's been a while, sorry. We're gonna get it done though, don't worry. You just gotta stare at those things for a certain amount of time. Anyway, at this point, the door locks behind you. No! And you can't get out. And then you notice there's like a fetus in the sink. And you're like, oh, hey, dude. Hey, bro. Why are you in the sink and not your mom? So the door slightly kind of frings around. Baby scares you. Again, by this point, I was not a happy person the first time I played it. Matt Frazier is so into this. And thank you, Matt Frazier, for helping me complete it. He's not here to do this. Not because he passed away, because he's working, so don't feel sad. <laughs> Think he's alive. I haven't talked to him in a couple days. I'll let you just know. Oh, I think I can do it now. I just stare at the mirror. The door opens. And then I can walk out. And then I can walk out. Alright, did I say four? Yeah. So number five. Here. 
Hello, five. I can't hear this. Alright. So this is where she can get you. Um I hope she doesn't. So I find the trick is is just to keep going as fast as you can. It should be So I'm just gonna go through the door. I find that way she can't get you because she's pretty much programmed to get you there right now. So I find as you progress through the doors, the more it changes. So yes, okay, so the door is closed now. So there should be an X on this photo. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I press X on that picture and the door opens. Click. Says the door. And now shit should be a little weird. If not, I'm going to go through the door one more time just to be on the safe side because I don't want her to kill me. Because she does kill you. There's writing on the wall. One last time. Oh yeah, that falls too. Finally! I usually jump it back. I knew it was coming, I was just waiting for it. I'm gonna check this wall, if it's not written there yet, then... Oh. Right, so this shit's getting weird. So I got five things to check. I'm gonna go through the door again. Cause you kinda do, I find. There, okay, now we're getting to this. Now I wonder... If there's words on the wall now. Alright, so okay, so it says hello. So you look away, look back, and let us go. You keep doing that until it says G. And we're gonna turn all the way around. And we're gonna go up to this wall. Ow. And she'll get that, yeah. It'll be a laugh. It's kind of different every time. Alright, so we're gonna do that. And I think that's pretty much it at this point. If I'm not mistaken, then you get the devil lamp, which is scary as hell. <sighs> this game's gonna be fun. Still gonna be chivalrous. Alright, so now that this is all crazy, because uh, I got all the pieces, this will only happen if you go to all the pieces and we'll go through the door a couple times. Now, looking through a peephole, there was one in the bathroom. I find it kind of randomly appears in different areas. Usually I find it here. Right now I'm not. Or here, maybe. I'm not finding it. Ah, there it is. Okay. So you look through this hole. And you have to hold it down. There's really nothing to see. I assume that's Lisa. Who's Lisa? You're not gonna see her. No turning back now. I could turn the game off, but I'm not. I don't know how we're doing for time. I wanted to do this in a 15 minute time span. Thing is, I kind of slowed down at the very beginning, dicking around, thinking I could pick up items. God, I wish you could just run. I would be. Whoa! Get out of here! Be Diving through that window by now. If eh, I guess if I couldn't get out the window and I kept walking through a hall that repeated, I just tr die. I guess I wouldn't even try. I'd sit with this clock and look at the clock, build the fort out of the bottles, maybe. I uh, know I'd build the fort with all the random furniture and hope to God nothing gets me. Even though I know it won't happen. You touch this door, I guess. I don't really think you have to do anything special here. It's just a time thing. You just wait. Pretty much. You really do just sit and wait. Gets a little glitchy. 
kind of the boring part of the speed run. I like to walk around on the dust a lot. Same with this door. This one is not locked, but Two it's zero scary. Eight, oh yeah. Two zero four eight six three. Two zero four eight six three. Two zero four eight six three. You know what that means? Look it up. This whole scenario of how this game's puzzles were figured out. Very Fix this damn bug before release. So, pulls a Fez. If you've ever played Fez, it pretends to crash. Cool idea, by the way. And it kind of repeats itself. Resets itself, I should say. Um, I remember thinking that I thought that was it. Luckily, I read into it more. And I mean, like, mostly because it is a little bit different, if you noticed it. Right here, there's no cockroach anymore, like there was at the very beginning before. Uh, a little thing like that. Nothing too crazy. Ow. I need a new headset. It keeps turning off on me. I guess it's not really compatible for the PS4, but still. Alright, so what I usually do here, stare at this clock and hope Lisa doesn't grab me, because that would suck. You have to wait till the bell rings. So how are you guys? That's good. Going out for Halloween? Right on. Yep. I'm a sitting waiting. Waiting for that bell. Waiting for that bell from hell. Hell's bells. Na 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 na. <sighs> when you're just staring at a clock, waiting, it's like the longest minute ever. Yay! There we go. Alright. So, you should hear haunting, it's kind of like that creepy ghostly noise. There, it's coming now. And you hear... <gasps> I shed every heat, and I got a shed! <laughs> Lisa got them cramps, Lisa got them cramps. So, whenever she stops moaning and whining, you gotta take ten steps exactly and then stop. At least you get a baby laugh. That's it. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> That's one baby laugh. I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, Jarek? Jarek? Vibrate very shortly. Yeah, it's vibrating now. So you don't move. Don't press a damn button. We screwed that up the first time. We didn't like. Other reports say. I don't know. 
There are so many different ways to do this, apparently, but this is the best way. There, that was the third lap, because he didn't press anything. There you go to the phone. And yeah. Zoom in on it. Damn it. You've been chosen. And you go through the door one more time, and you have completed the PT demo. Now, when I said Jarek and Jarek, I'm not actually sure of how to pronounce it. I just seen it written down. Uh, you have to whisper that name into a microphone uh, in order to get the second laugh. And that's when you kind of just stop moving and pull the controller away to get that third laugh uh, after the controller stops firing. So thank you very much. That uh, was pretty much, I'm not sure what the time frame was on that, but uh, we'll see here in a little bit. So enjoy the Solid Mills trailer. You have yourself a happy Halloween. Yeah, he was just that kind of guy. But then one day he goes and kills us all. He couldn't even be original about the way he did it. I'm not complaining. I was dying of boredom anyway. But guess what? I will be coming back, and I'm bringing my new toys with me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Pretty pumped.